up guys? I'm Joel. And I'm Sean. This week is part 2 of the 85 series, number 2. So, uh, we'll be doing 3 dishes today. So are you ready? It's market, market time. time. So for the first one, um, the satay, what I really like about Bodo 85, um, the store that we go, is that they have um, pork satay and a lot of places. Like I also actually like the satay at Lagoon um, at East Coast Park, but they don't have the pork satay. Mm. And pork is um, it's very succulent when you when you barbecue it and then the, when the then the fat melts. Oh, it's just so good. People don't realize this, but pork is a really good meat, especially for like barbecues or on its own because. You know, it goes chicken, pork, beef. So mm. chicken, you go like chicken is all about the tenderness, like how tender chicken is. Then beef is all about the flavor, right? The mm. huge, um, beefy flavor. And right in between is pork. It kind of has the kind of has the best of both worlds. It has the tenderness, well, not exactly, but the slight tenderness of chicken, and also a little bit of that beefy taste, but more of a porky kind of taste. So yeah, it just that whole that whole best of both worlds thing on a steak, barbecued, caramelized, all wet, oily. It's oh, it's. Yeah, masterpiece. Yeah, just Best of both worlds thing on a stick, barbecue, caramelized, all wet, oily. Masterpiece. Masterpiece. Like so, what I really like about this store is that they don't overcook your meat. I've been to places where you eat the satay and then just like bits of meat still stuck on the steak. No, this one when you bite, oh, it's like right off. Mm, oh, I hate those. I hate it when the satay like just sticks and it's like super dry. Oh, dry satay is the worst. So for me, when I watch like other stalls, what, what's the difference, right? Other stalls because they know there's gonna be a like an influx of orders, right? Mm. So they just cook the satay beforehand, uh. and then when you order your satay, you come along and order, and then they just reheat it and they just serve it to you. That's why it comes so quick to you at your table. But for this store. When you order your satay, they take it out from the fridge and then they cook it on the spot for you. Although it's a bit, you wait a bit longer, but it's worth the wait. And also I like the, the peanut sauce. There's enough peanuts inside. It's mm. enough peanuts to call it a peanut sauce. Though normally I'm not a peanut sauce kind of guy. Yeah, you know him right. He <laughs> eat roti prata without curry, he eat a satay without sauce. He just eat nugget without sauce also. Hey, my mom said I'm handsome, can <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm not really into peanut sauce, but for this one I made an exception because uh, this the peanut sauce, while it's a strong taste, it's not too strong to overpower the taste of the of the satay. So I, I do eat it together with the satay, mm. and it's really good. So you should really try it. In fact, when you dip the satay in, right, what I really like about it is that it coats the whole satay perfectly. You can't even see the 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 meat anymore. It just looks like a peanut sauce on like a stick. And moving on, you know, uh, the next dish uh, that we ate was olua. The amazing power is olua. Like Sean said, is the ratio. Yeah, I mentioned. I briefly mentioned about this uh, egg to flour ratio. So mm. this shop that we are going to introduce to you guys, they do it perfectly. Yeah, you have to imagine like this flour like cake kind of thing. So it's like really like like plump, right? And then right at the ends, the egg inside is like chewy. Yeah, yeah inside is chewy. chewy. And right at the ends, the eggs make it really crispy and crunchy. Actually, what I like right, is the flour is so flavorful. Even though it's just flour, like you think about it, flour, right? Yeah. No taste, but no. It's the flour is so flavorful, and then it just like it just is coated with the egg. So when you eat it, it's like heaven, no? <laughs> I've really yet to try an Ola, which is better than this. I know I say that a lot about different dishes, but this Ola is really one of the better ones because bad Ola is really is really common. It's really easy to come across, but good Ola, which makes you come back for more. Also, the oysters, they're really plump, really yeah. fresh. I suggest that um, if you never really had an Ola that like, blew your mind before, they go will blow your mind. <laughs> go for the ola. The, how, how's the chili? Uh? So the chili, I like it because it's a bit sourish mm. and it's also sweet at the same time but it's not so sweet like Thai chili kind of sweet. It's just, just enough. Uh, normally what I do, like fat tip, right, for you guys. <laughs> Which Joel doesn't uh, because I had to share the plate with him. Next time I'll just order my own. But what I do normally, I just order, ask for more chili and I just pour the chili onto the ola. I know it's almost a sin but it's good. Mm. It works, so do it. Yeah. Sean's fat tip. Yeah, fat tip. Hashtag fat tip. And then we had chicken wings. For me, the most important thing about the charcoal grilled kind of chicken wings, right? The glaze outside has to be like really perfect. Mm -hmm. It cannot be dry. Once the skin is dry, it's off. I think about four. Four stores in 85 that does charcoal grilled chicken wings. Mm. But I only like from this store because when you bite into the chicken, right? You can taste the amount of flavors. The seasoning goes right into like the meat. 
And also, when you eat the chicken wing, it has to have this really strong charcoal flavor, which I love so much. And uh, I talk about it a lot because, you know, like these kind of things, no matter how you cook a chicken wing at home, it will never taste like one that is cooked on top of a charcoal grill. All right, guys, you've seen us eat and talk about the food, all the details that we can like explain to you. And we really hope that you go there, go down to 85 and try yourself. Yeah. When you go down to 85 the next time, don't just go and order your bach or me or like eat your normal stuff. Be adventurous, try. Go and give a try at the stalls that we recommended. Mm -hmm. It's always the obscure stalls that will really surprise you. Okay, so if there's nothing else, then stay, stay fat, fat Singapore. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my tribute to Mark It's good. Good job. Mm. Oh. 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 Okay. Oh. 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 Oh.